Cell division is the process of generating new cells. It can be classified into two types, somatic and reproductive cell division. Somatic cell division refers to the division of the non-reproductive body cells, like skin cells, bone cells, muscle cells, etc. The prefix soma refers to the body. This type of cell division is carried out through the process of mitosis and occurs when tissues grow or are in need of repair or maintenance. In mitosis, cells are making copies of themselves, their DNA and cell structures essentially cloning themselves. Epithelial cells are making new epithelial cells, cartilage cells are making new cartilage cells, etc., without any variation. Cytokinesis is a process that occurs immediately at the end of both types of cell division, after the DNA has been divided, where the cell membrane and cytoplasm are split into two separate daughter cells. Reproductive cell division is responsible for the production of the gametes, or sex cells, including the egg and sperm, through the process of meiosis. In this type of division, one diploid body cell in the ovaries or testes, having all 46 chromosomes, symbolized as 2N, divides into four haploid reproductive cells, four egg or sperm cells, respectively, each having 23 chromosomes, symbolized as N. Meiosis is a reduction division, where the number of chromosomes is reduced by half, and following this nuclear division, the entire cell divides into two separate cells through cytokinesis. Remember that a diploid cell contains the full set of chromosomes, 46 in humans, whereas a haploid cell contains half the number, 23. So if meiosis is dividing diploid cells into haploid cells, mitosis is copying diploid cells into more diploid cells, making identical copies or clones of cells, all having the same chromosome number. Mitosis is just one stage in the overall somatic cell cycle. Think of it as a 24-hour day in the life of a cell. One diploid parent cell spends most of its time preparing to divide, so it has to make copies of everything the future daughter cells will require, including all of its organelles, enzymes, and DNA. The actual cell division occurs during the relatively brief M stage. M stands for mitotic. Most of the time, the cell is in a long state of preparation called interphase and is busy copying everything the future daughter cells will need before mitosis begins. There's a lot of time and energy invested during interphase, which is split into three stages, G1, S, and G2. Just think of all the preparation that goes into a wedding, or the training that a runner undergoes preparing for a marathon. Hundreds of hours over many months are spent getting ready for an event that is relatively brief, lasting only a few hours. Think of interphase as the intermission between divisions in the M phase. It's a break between divisions, but not a break in activity. The G in G1 and G2 of interphase stands for gap, but think of it more as a growth phase where the cell is busy growing copying, and building up all of the materials that the future daughter cells will require. Cells spend most of their time in interphase, while actual mitosis is brief. Look at the time frame. G1 is 8 to 10 hours long. The S phase, where DNA is synthesized or replicated, lasts approximately 8 hours and G2 is four to six hours long. In G1, the organelles are copied, the mitochondria, lysosomes, ER, etc. All are doubled, so the future daughter cell has copies of each. The centrosome and centrioles, which are needed to make the mitotic spindle, are also copied in G1. 
The S phase undergoes DNA synthesis, or replication, where an exact copy of the original DNA molecule is being produced. In G2, the cell is busy mass-producing enzymes through protein synthesis and is finishing the duplication of the centrosome and centrioles. The M phase of the actual nuclear and cell division begins with prophase, then moves on without interruption to metaphase, and then anaphase, and ends with telophase. Cytokinesis follows telophase, producing two separate identical diploid daughter cells. The cell cycle is continuous, where the daughter cells can jump right back into G1 and begin the process all over again, which most do. Some cells, however, exit the cycle and enter a stage called G0, where they remain functional but no longer divide. Cells that enter G0 include nerve and muscle cells that usually divide once early on in their embryological development and then grow and branch, but don't undergo further mitosis. This diagram illustrates what happens during the S phase of DNA synthesis or replication, where DNA is copied. The double-stranded DNA is unzipped or unwound and its nucleotide bases, A, T, C, and G, are separated. The two parent strands, the old strands, will be used as templates or patterns for enzymes to help assemble the new strands. The DNA base pair rules are being followed where A bonds to T, adenine to thymine, and C bonds to G cytosine to guanine, and vice versa. The enzymes move from base to base, bringing in the nucleotides having the correct matching nitrogenous base. The base pairs of the old and new strands are bonded together, followed by the sugar phosphate groups that make up the rest of the DNA backbone to form two identical copies of DNA. This process is called semi-conservative replication because each double-stranded DNA copy is made up of one old strand and one new strand, with the old strand, the template, being conserved.